for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. So, plans for today. There's a short ferry ride, only costs about 15 euros from here to the island over there. Short trip, just turn up, pay and get on and it runs pretty much every hour. So we're gonna do that. And then when you drive up to the top of the island, there's another ferry, which is a lot longer, two and three quarter hours, I believe, from the top of that island back to the mainland. A little bit more expensive, but, then obviously you don't have to go all the way back down south and come all the way back up north so and it'll get us to a town called split on the mainland coast and then from there we can continue our journey north so that's what we plan to do so it looks like there's been a very small break in the weather we've had a lot of rain the last few days a little bit of sunshine in the background there where the clouds are breaking and you can actually see across now to all the little islands over there. All down this coast there's hundreds and hundreds of islands and some have got roads across to them, some have got little ferries and hopefully tomorrow morning early I'm going to catch a ferry across to that big island over there, Corkula, which we've been recommended by quite a few of you viewers have said that it's really beautiful and it's worth a visit so we're going to take your recommendation and go and have a look and check it out for ourselves. Let's hope these clouds ease off and we get a nice bright day to have a look around. If it was sunny here, this coast is absolutely gorgeous. It's really beautiful, green, lush, lovely blue waters and beaches. Yeah, it's super. Make a fantastic holiday destination. This is one of the few campsites that are still open at this time of year, really out of season. There's nobody here, but it's lovely. It's all terraced all the way down to the sea there. So each pitch pretty much has a sea view. And we've got a big reception building right at the top there. And the lady's really helpful, speaks very good English, which always helps. And in fact, I've uh, heard a statistic that more than 80% of the population of Croatia can speak a little bit of English. So that's fantastic, isn't it? And then just behind me here, is where we're parked you can see the van just on its own little terrace there and we've got our own water supply and our own electric as well so considering it's really cloudy and raining it's handy having that electric at the moment keep the batteries topped up and then we're just gonna nip down here and go down to the beach and see what there is down there you've got absolutely first class facilities here outside shower there there's separate toilets men's women's and then right at the end there there's a laundry which we've got our uh, washing in there at the moment yeah lovely showers lovely toilets all nice and clean well presented another camper van look parked on another terrace here overlooking the sea washing area to do your pots and pans and even laundry facilities washer and dryer as well and this little shower here is actually a dog shower. Oh, not seen one of them before. 
everybody's catered for. Here you go, Rob. Archie will be well away. What they also have here are these premium little holiday bungalows. Under that cover there is your own hot tub as well. Again, fantastic views of the sea. And there's a few more down there closer to the beach, which I guess you pay a little bit of a premium for. So if you didn't have a camper van, you could still come here and have a holiday in one of these. So we're down by the port um, at Oblek. There's a ticket office just behind me there. And uh, for the camper van, seven meters plus two people, it was 156 kunas, which is I think about 20 euros, something like that. So 15 minute crossing. The next ferry is at one o'clock. So we've just got 45 minutes wait, I think. So not too bad and then we'll be across there by about quarter past one. Right, so we're just waiting in the queue to get on the ferry. You don't need to book in advance. We just drove straight down here and got into the queue. We're only one car in front of us and then pay for your ticket and jump straight on. I imagine if you're here in the height of the season, middle of summer, you probably will have to be down here a bit earlier, but they run pretty much every hour, this 15 minute crossing across to the other island there. So chances are you could turn up and wait a couple of hours you'd get on anyway. Uh. We're going to walk down into the old town. Um, just got a gravel car park here, only about 15 20 minutes walk outside of the town, right next to the cemetery over there. So, should be dead quiet.
So apparently doing a little bit of research on Google, Cortula, the island that we're currently on now, allegedly is supposed to be the birthplace of the intrepid explorer Marco Polo. So it's quite fitting really that we should come here, a couple of explorers like ourselves, to the birthplace of Marco Polo. Who knows? <laughs> so here we are, these stairs and this gate, the entrance to the old walled city or town, as it were. Take you up here and this will take us into the uh, old part of the town. strange. I don't know why I'm whispering but it's a Saturday afternoon yeah. unless everybody's having a siesta. There's nobody about at all. We're the only ones here. Yeah. Apart from very few locals. One or two locals yeah. And that's it. But uh, yeah, I think we've seen two restaurants open but nobody in them at all, okay. completely empty, so, yeah. Quiet. Very, very quiet. I think that's Silence. But look how beautiful it is. So we're just travelling from one end of the island to the other and we've been climbing for quite a while at about 8% and it's really funny because the Google sat satellite view shows the road covered in clouds and I guess it just must be the altitude. This part of the island must always be in the clouds and uh, yeah you can see in front of us we're definitely in the clouds. Weird. Never, never known that. I'll put an image up on the screen of what Google Maps looks like, and you can see it's just white with a, a road <laughs> going through it. Really strange. Morning, guys. So lucky to have found this cracking little spot on the island late last night. And then this morning made sure that I got up early so I could see the sunrise here over the east in the distance there. It was absolutely glorious. And uh, yeah, it's just a stunning view. The sea down there is such a deep turquoisey blue colour. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm going to sit here for a bit, enjoy this with my breakfast. 
and then we're going to take a bit of a mosey on further down the island to the town right at the far end and then later on this afternoon we've got another ferry booked and we're catching that back to the mainland morning guys beautiful sunrise this morning that was lovely I was up nice and early hopefully to catch that and it, uh, yeah it turned out to be a fantastic this is our little park up we are wild camping in a little car park just on the sort of southwesterly side of the island facing the Adriatic Sea and uh, just a little gravel car park here you can see the vans parked there but the sun's right behind it really bright and uh, it's just like a little viewpoint really there's a couple of bench seats just over there and from there you've got a fantastic view of that little secluded little bay there beautiful clear turquoise water yeah it's just absolutely stunning and then in front of me here which you guys can't see there's a little village a lot of holiday apartments I guess it looks like a lot of them are closed up got the shutters closed but yeah really stunning location and I think I probably mentioned it before we're well out of season so there's hardly anybody here a lot of the campsites are closed so wild camping like this as long as you're not taking a mickey is kind of tolerated and accepted and I guess we're probably a little bit fortunate having the van as it looks because it does just look pretty much like a white panel van so when it's parked up and all the curtains are closed you know it looks like somebody's just parked a van here really so you can kind of get away with it a little bit more so how I found this little parking spot um, like I sometimes do is I zoomed in on the Google Map satellite view and just scrolled along the coast looking for things that were of interest and it was when I saw this huge great big bay secluded bay here with a little beach and these turquoisey blue waters on Google Maps I thought oh that'll be a, a really nice spot to uh, camp up if we can I had a look to see what the access roads were to get down by the little beach there and whether there was a little car park but 
I'll show you in a second. The road is really sketchy. There was no way I was going to take the van down there. You could probably get down there with a four wheel drive vehicle, but it's really loose rocks and very uneven ground. So I wasn't going to risk that. The next best thing was this gravel car park here, which is right next to a playing area. There's a couple of hard courts here for uh, basketball and tennis and that sort of thing. So yeah, this was quite a nice little safe area to park up really. don't get an impression of how rough it is like and then all this loose stuff you know you'd struggle to get up there now this road reminds me of watching that film with martin uh, houseless not homeless where i think he was in croatia as well when he come down a road similar to this to a park up next to a river and then <laughs> got his van stuck down there and then had a hell of a trouble trying to get it out i think at one point it was on three wheels and he was trying to dig it out i'll see if i can put a link up here and you can go and watch that video but yeah i know i'm laughing now but i bet he was panicking at the time bless him The only problem with this beach being out of season is all of this gets washed up on the beach. I'm sure this is all cleaned up for the summer season but it's not good looking at all this crap here. I think it's too much for me and Lou to do on our own. Yeah, Quite sad when you look around. Such a shame, beautiful spot, rubbish everywhere. Maybe the local community could get on this and give it a bit of a clean up, but maybe next summer it'll be looking nice again. So here we are again. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a habit this, third ferry in about a week and a half. <laughs> but we're catching the ferry off of Cortula Island back to the mainland of Croatia. And uh, yeah we've got a few more places that we want to see on mainland Croatia and it's really quiet over here yeah it's amazing it's well out of season as I keep saying but yeah there's nobody about hardly anything open so we're going to see if we can find something a bit more interesting back on the mainland I've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight I'm letting it go Coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down, feel alive. Stars, I wanna drive a 
myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else it's absolutely chucking it down with rain and it's not the best weather with such a shame because this place is absolutely amazing we're gonna to have to come back here at some stage and explore this more this would be a lovely location for a holiday actually with all the beachfront here as well and all the uh, restaurants and bars and everything but just surrounded by these massive cliff faces in this campsite here if you come in to Omis definitely stay in this campsite it's just brilliant i'll put a link down below and then in between those rocks or those cliff faces should i say there the river goes up there and that's where we're going to go to head back up to the main highway and that goes up to a massive hydroelectric plant further up the river there but again i don't think we'll get a chance to look at that today because the weather's just terrible and it's uh, in for a few days unfortunately which is yeah it's a real shame would have liked to have stayed here a lot longer Croatia continues to surprise us with more and more beautiful places. If you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. In next week's video, we visit the stunning National Park with its crystal clear waters and incredible waterfalls. You won't want to miss it. Of course, this would look so much better if it wasn't chucking it down with rain. Alright, sadly, let's get out of here.